Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to Soul Purpose Leaders. Today, I have an amazing guest for you. And I just want to say, whoever you are, and if you this is your first time coming to Soul Purpose Leaders, this is an amazing platform that anyone, anyone, from anywhere in the world, whatever you're going through or whatever is happening in within your life that you want guidance or you want someone to talk to or someone to listen to you or you want to hear other people's stories, how they can empower you, this is the right place for you. So today, we have an amazing leader. Her name is Minku Buta. And uh, she has this quote that she sent it to us. When you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. Ah, that's beautiful. Lao Tzu, he wrote that. And um, Minku, she is an award-winning transformational facilitator and energy healer for professionals wanting to reclaim joy. I love that. Embrace the awareness, our awesomeness, sorry, not awareness, awesomeness to reclaim joy. Sorry. Em, embrace their awesomeness and full potential at work and relationships. What's true about you today that would make your eight-year-old self cry? Oh, she asks. To telegen, I hope I'm saying this right. To teleg, teleg? Did I say yeah. that right? Yeah. And the various enlightenment masters showed her that we must work at deep subconscious level to unlearn a lot of conditions, beliefs we pick up while growing up, while growing. If we want to heal from traumas that mar our present brilliance, through thought provo provoking partnership, impactful, sessions based on her own journey and various energy modulate modalities she leads you to to a to a calm space that inspire self reflection this is turn breaks down barriers that prohibit you from em embracing success and purpose of life with clarity walking waking up each morning to take the day on because a joyful experience. Her mantra, what the caterpillar calls the end, the rest of the world calls butterfly. So dare to show up in your vulnerable, authentic self anyway, way. This is beautiful, and I am so, so happy, and I'm so blessed to have you today, Ming Kubuta. Welcome. Thank you so much, Bake. It's an honor to be here. Uh, and I also thank you for pronouncing my surname so correctly. Most of the people call, instead of butter, uh, they call me butter. And I <laughs> always take it, I take it so nice, you know, beautifully in the right spirit. And I say, yeah, I'm melting hearts. <laughs> Just like the butter, that's okay. <laughs> it resonates, you know, as long as you uh, don't call me a cinema or a pepper or, you know, I'm okay with butter. Yes, it's, it's, <laughs> so thank you for that. that. And thank you, uh, Bake, thank you so much for that awesome, awesome introduction. And uh, also just the intention, um, you know, we've connected before and we've had an awesome, heartful, soulful talk. And um, thank you. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful platform and an initiative. So congratulations. Well, uh, the um, pleasure is all mine. This is not for me. This is for the person who needs it the most. That's why I got inspired because of this pandemic that many people are actually in isolation in themselves, that they need to hear something positive or they need to hear someone has the same story to them so they can actually reach out, so they can actually say, me too, and do something about it. It's never too late. So the pleasure is all mine. And I'm so honored for you to be here today, Minko. Thank you. And you. Thank you so much. 
we had an amazing talk and I cannot wait to actually go deeper in the conversation. So I would like you to just actually start when you are a seven-year-old girl. Tell us about your experience in life. Um, you know, I came up with that uh, question. Um, I think um, someone had said something similar a long time ago and it stuck in me. Now, the it's actually eight-year-old. Um, now, this eight-year-old, if you read about it, uh, it's psychologically uh, confirmed um, by the psychologist as a very formative year. And that's when we start building a personality. And that's also when we start uh, making uh, relationships. Our, um, uh, unfortunately, it's also when our egos, uh, I'm sorry if there's a noise, it's a, it's a, um, I don't know if you heard it, but that's a fighter plane going right on top of my home. That's what I wanted to say. Are you on the plane or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be sitting not like this, but I would be sitting uh, as if I'm going to the moon. They, they put <laughs> all kind of mechanisms on you as if either you're, you're in the ICU or uh, you're going to the moon. <laughs> So what I realized, um, you know, that it is so true that the eight-year-olds are uh, really, really the very, very vulnerable state. You know, you're finding your relationship with others. But as I grew older and today, if I look back, there is one thing that I have found which I, I really, really would like to share with you and your listeners that um you know in fairy tales at the end of the adventure right because we all grow up with fairy tales and eight-year-olds i mean i still have my book uh which i signed when i was you know maybe seven or eight years old and it's still one of my most precious precious books fairy tales um, so what happens is at the end of every adventure in a fairy tale they go like oh and they lived happily ever after <laughs> and it's actually I now find as an adult that it's our fixation with the happy ending in the end that confuses our psyche mm. okay uh, in and and during our, our ongoing journeys is where the happiness lives it's not in the end as we grow up uh, feeling and and the joy needs to sit um, in everything that we do, however challenging. So in every moment, Parke, I feel uh, the watchfulness and, the, and then the mindfulness, uh, the experiences we have must be embraced. Uh, and uh, we forget to pause. Why is the world full of depression and anxiety? The pauses, we are in such a big rush from an eight-year-old to rush to where we are now, we forget to pause. Um, and if someone tells us that be mindful, I don't know how many parents are aware to teach that to an eight-year-old and say, you know, like, come on, let's sit down and do a little bit of meditation. I'm telling you, eight-year-olds, you, you can actually get them to do most things. After that, soon the you know, in another few years, the teens, the hard teens are going to come up and it's gone forever. So if we are lucky, Barke, to pause and, and we are lucky enough to have moments in life when we sat and we reflected long enough, then I think at the end of life, what I realize, it's not what I bought it's not what I built. Uh, it's not what I have, uh, but what we shared with others as our journey went on. And it's not even our competen uh, competence, it's not our skills, but our character. Uh, what did we put inside this beautiful journey? And it's not our 
this is something I love, Bake. It's not our success. It's our significance. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, to just live a, <laughs> a, a life of love is what I would say to my eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing because <laughs> it's so true what you're saying. Because end of the day, we, I grew up as well thinking of this happy ending and um, thinking and always looking for that destination, the end of the line. And even like uh, when it came to United Kingdom and all you hear, you need to work hard, you need to ensure you build that life because at the end of your retirement, that is the happy ending. But then guess what? That and then death you're waiting for. That's it. So how can that be? That's not it. There must be more. <laughs> so and yes, and the more more is in those moments. Exactly. Uh, people, in the birth and the death. <laughs> yes, but people, re they don't realize that. So for me, even, I will start doing it. I was actually working so hard, ensuring myself mm. the destination, the happy ending that I want to build. So what happened is that I exhaust myself because of that idea that I had of happy ending. Yes. Now, yes. let's go back to the topic. So today, we actually need to realize in ourselves the what is this joy that we want in life or the happiness that we want in life. I used to always crave it, that I want the happiness, but I didn't know how that happiness was at the time. So please tell us, Minko, because I know you are like the doctor of joy. So please tell us, <laughs> what is that joy that people are craving and where they can actually look for it? So I have a very interesting story to tell you. So when one day I was sitting and I said, yes, I, my purpose in life, um, and just to take you a little uh, back, uh, I've been a successful uh, fashion designer with my own label here in India. And uh, um, in spite of that, you know, I felt like there is something missing and I need to connect the dots better and then one day I'm sitting and I'm thinking like he, you know how can I help my purpose I know is to help others uh, I thrive I thrive and some days um, you know I can work 17 18 hours a day and I know it's not the healthiest but that's I get so consumed by creating um, you know the power and the content with what I want to bring to make changes uh, uh, in people so I was thinking how can I do this you know there has to be a path like you have um, be your own hero uh, and, and it's beautiful uh, what you're doing uh, uplifting uh, women out there. So I said, what is that one ingredient that's missing? So I, you know, can be very adventurous and I, I can throw caution to the wind and sometimes say, how am I going to do that? I was sitting back here one day and I thought, ha, huh, joy, joy and happiness, like you said, is the missing ingredient in, in the recipe of life, uh, you know, um, and you can put in as much as you want. It's not like putting curry powder or spices. <laughs> uh, it's never going to give you indigestion. <laughs> as much of joy is good. And uh, so I said, let's do this playfully. Mm. We take life too seriously. And I said, uh, let's do this in a playful fashion. Um, so I did an experiment. Uh, I said to myself, and a lot of my friends know this. I said, I'm going to talk to 100 people randomly in the street, in the coffee shops, and ask them, have you seen joy? What does it look like? <laughs> And uh, you will not believe the kind of um, answers. I had expressions where they were stuck and they were stunned. Uh, a lot of them, a few of them turn around and walked away because uh, I think in the Indian culture, uh, no one approaches anyone randomly and I was doing oh. something like that. <laughs> and I had, <laughs> I had others who just said to me, you say, they said, you know what, this is so beautiful. Who are you? And why do you ask this? And we started beautiful conversations and some of them left 
the conversation saying thank you for starting us on a journey of finding joy and thinking about it. I also did a little bit of research and I found that uh, what, is, what is that one shape, and this is really informative, that gives maximum joy to people? Do you know what that is, Bake? No, I need you to it's, tell me. It's, <laughs> it's everything circular. Anything, you know, um, if, you, if you look at confetti, a small mm -hmm. piece of, actually it's a confetta. And if you look at even the smallest piece, it starts and then you put a lot of, it becomes confetti from confetti. Ah. And then um, if you look at dots, polka dots, Mm. Polka dots are supposed, you know, if you have a, a, a very depressing day and if you wear polka dots, it can brighten your day. Or if you have a segment in the house where, where you put a wallpaper with a round, anything round, like bubbles. Mm. What about, you know, the bubbles that children. Uh, so mm. I think uh, it's the circular round dots more than the angular jagged ends that bring a lot of joy. So then I said, okay, um, there you go. I'm going to name my program that I do with my clients, with people who, who want to have a, you know, a joy, to be in a joyful uh, space. I, so I call my program Bake um, Joyfulness Code. Uh -huh. It's a code. Yeah. And I have constructed four E's where mm -hmm. I um, try to integrate principle of change, yeah. you know, uh, with uh, learning, with adult learning to accelerate progress. And I want these changes not to be temporary in people's mindsets and psyche. I'm looking at creating permanent change so that joy is a permanent space in their heads. And uh, the day Bake, they drop that idea of not being good enough, as you know, we are consumed by that. Then I think... Uh, they all, I see that happiness and uh, they look like uh, what, what I would call, uh, you know, there's an English saying in your country, like the cat who ate the canary. <laughs> <laughs> so they all look so smug and happy, like we got this, we got this, you know, <laughs> and it's joyful for me. So that's, that's what I do, you know. Yeah. It's an amazing thing because, um, like I said, people out there, they're going through a lot of turmoil, either from their childhood or their adulthood. And most of the time, we, when I was in that situation myself, I thought I was the only one. And I thought that was my problem. And I thought that I needed to deal with it, but I didn't know how to deal with it in a positive way. Now until one day as the person I am just asking question and asking question to the universe and I got my answer, but for some, they don't have that. Now tell us about how can a person, even though you already told us about the, um, the round shape that will also help, that is one of the advice, but what can a person do or start with in, in themselves that actually they're going through that way of uh, thinking i'm not good enough i don't look beautiful i'm not amazing i'm unlovable i'm people i'm not yeah. worthy what yes. is the first thing Absolutely. they can do to break that mm -hmm. yeah uh Bake, that's a really good question and i think it, it is an inspiring question which gets people to think now um what comes to my mind have you heard of Tony Robbins firewalk. Yes. Have you? Yes. <laughs> so apparently, um, uh, you know, whether a, it's Oprah Winfrey or anyone, apparently people get cured and um, someone even has said that he had insomnia and, uh, you know, he walked barefoot on burning coals, mm -hmm. um, depression, toxic relationships, everything gets cured. And I just say like, you know what? to understand the 
positivity is joy. But to understand that you have another facet of life, you don't have to walk on coal to realize life is going to throw you so many curve balls, <laughs> so much in life. Um, and then um, you don't need any firebox, really. Uh, but every experience okay is a powerful experience Bake, and we need so much of inner strength mm -hmm. uh, to do this so i would say that every blister mm -hmm. and every scar on your soul if you can embrace it start with that start with being comfortable in your own skin uh, start with not chasing the past and the mm. demons and just say in the power of the now you know as my ever favorite Eckhart Tolle says is the happiness is the joy but mind you Bake as as we all know we have to make peace with the past we must I see I see this, you know, I see people burnt out at work. Um, they're not able to hold, especially now, not able to hold relationships at work, at home. Um, there's emotional baggage, like forgiveness has to come in. Then you have to tackle fears and we grow up with conditioned beliefs. All this knee leads to our mental state of not very balanced well-being. And uh, this is what I start with. So embrace who you are, yeah. where you are in life. And from there, once you have dropped your baggage uh, and uh, you are in a space where you can start thinking, yes, the other end of the spectrum is joy. So you drop this. And I wouldn't call it negative. Mm -hmm. Anything that has been a part of your experience is a beautiful learning. It's an enriching. So you look at your scars in your wounds and you might be bleeding, but you just say, I'm going to heal this. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to surrender. I'm going to love. I'm going to be in joy. And once you send that intention out, Bake, I think you're good. You've started your journey. And then, of course, people like you and me, you know, we're always there to hold hand. Uh, you know, I've put in the structure, a joyfulness code. And uh, I, I love it when um, this lady who's uh, in her 50s, one of my clients uh, in July, I finished a four week course because this is a four week course. And uh, I have her testimony and she's so beautifully said, Bakke, she says 32 years, she has spent thousands of dollars and met so many gurus and spiritual mentors. And what we did in four weeks of joyfulness code was mm -hmm. equivalent to her 32 years of work on herself. That's so remarkable. I think, yeah, there, there is, there is, I love it. It's so gratifying. So uh, yeah, Bake, so that's, that's where you start your journey of joy. It's so true because um, at the time when I was going through all of those things, I, because oh, you've been, as I was being told over and over, you're not good enough, over and over, you're not worth it. You're this, you're mm. that. But what happened is that because I, I started hating my body, I started hating me, that I wanted to hurt me because I was like, if this is the problem, let's take it out. But then... Oh. Because I, because of my religion and because of the, my beliefs that I didn't believe in um, ha killing myself or I didn't believe in self-harming in a, you know, in going farther than that, I stopped and I asked the question, if this is the case for me, okay, because end of the day, when I looked deep and I asked myself, when the lights are off or when, the, when there's no one around, who is there with me? No one. It's just me. Yeah. So why yeah. am I wanting to destroy this being that is with me? Why? Yes. What would I have left? Nothing. So then what you're saying, so because when that yeah. mind shift happens and say, rather yeah. than destroying, 
actually less loving this this being that i've got this body yeah. that i have yeah. this mind that i have and you can feel the difference so it, it's true yes. minko and thank you for that because it just reminded me of myself and i am appreciating you now thank you thank you bake you're welcome and also i wanted to say you are a remarkable woman you've done so many things and we i appreciate you so much and for people here to thank see you. you and to hear you today it's also part of that gift now you gone through yourself some difficulties in your life mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and for you to be here today for you to actually making this difference would you be able to share with us some of those difficult some of those hardship that you went through for us to actually know that minku is not this minku you see today but actually this amazing woman that went through difficulties and this is what the yeah. result of the butterfly she is today bake thank you so much uh for going back to the roots and you know uh i know that a lot of people around me see see this gregarious uh someone who's out there i'm always you know joking and picking up spirits wherever i go and i i don't i don't say that out of vanity it's just i also feel that uh, minku butter has no onion skins so what you see is what you get and um and that's why people in my clients who are comfortable they know i have their back then i have their back and i will make sure and ensure i get them where they need to be uh also there is a saying that the diamond you know has to be before it becomes a diamond the coal has to go under all that you know pressures of of earth uh also in india gold gold is so huge and we always say that the jeweler must dip it into the fire to mold it so i feel people who um who claim that they've had a wonderful life i think uh, I, and i apologies to anyone who listens to this but i think either you're delusionally sweeping everything under the carpet uh, because i like to call a spade a spade and or you've decided that in this lifetime you're not going to handle those issues uh, i'll come back <laughs> another time and do it but if you really really i feel um, hell heaven whatever people try to put it as it's really is here in the now uh we don't know what happened before i know that people say you carry your dna and your traumas in your dna uh, but i think you have been born a human being you're not an animal you're not a creepy crawly that someone can use this lifetime and uh, in my experience that acknowledgement that i wanted to resolve and drop things bake is my journey of who i am now i had a uh, amazing amount of depression in my you know in around me and i have just about started talking about it you know and so thank you uh, for uh, you know allowing my soul to be expressing this verbally uh and inspiring others that you will always always have challenges in life um i had the depression around me and i had to stay as the solid uh, i would say the stable pillar for my family uh i lost my mother and my sister very early in life um and uh, i went through a divorce i came back to india where all of a sudden i was overseas i did i could not relate to a lot of people so i think it has been quite a challenging journey uh with any which way um the one thing i said to myself is i will not take any clinical help and fall into a depression myself and i would just sit and meditate and this is my message um out there is embrace what your body is going through and that's what you know even jock abets in uh, the mindfulness master that's what i've learned with my certifications and all the courses i've done is that we have to unlearn this is what my journey has been you have to unlearn our judgments of other people and ourselves uh stop 
stop being harsh on others stop being harsh on yourself because everyone's a mirror image uh, and the dignity is your birthright so reclaim your dignity as a human being um, and also i think just being more loving empathy towards yourself you read radiate that outside uh, so i feel like if i have done it and i have walked the talk uh, anyone can do it it's just a matter of being in that moment and if you need to take a day off barke you want to just get under the covers and sleep for the day let no one tell you you can't do that you need to know what your soul needs and the society tries to sub get you to subscribe to an idea of you you know they don't allow you to be you so i think you have to think of what's important what's your goal in life what's your priorities and focus on that and one step at a time i promise you you will reach there and when you start barke helping others you move from the iness to the venus you stop being a consumer you become a contributor then you can look beyond your wounds yeah so thank yes. you for allowing me to share that Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing it and uh, for actually the listeners because they hear this and they get empowered by this. But most important things is that we are all human. We have <laughs> all of us have a burden or have a responsibility or have have some challenges in our lives, but it's how we carry that challenge, how we react to that challenge and how we deal with that challenge. So it's everyone who says or how they do it or what they do or how they can overcome it for you to get the idea and say you know what this will work for me or that will work for me minku you are an amazing woman and thank you so much <laughs> for being you. vulnerable here because this is what yes. makes us human this is what shares with us to say yes it happens to me too okay and yes Yes. coming from caterpillar to beautiful butterfly it didn't just happen you know what i mean there is yeah. ways and how i made it happen to where you are right now and to actually share that to the world it is true the most rewarding thing is when you share your message or when you share yes. your authenticity to the world and say yes you can too and yes i believe in you because nobody told me that before but now i'm telling other people mm. i believe in you and i believe that you can be yes. better than what you think for yourself and yes you can so always. thank you so much always yes and barke i will never forget uh, your beautiful contribution to my podcast and uh, as you know i do this joyful uh, uh contrast of a message um a word that i pick up from the english literature um and uh, i've done five podcasts and you know it's available on my youtube channel uh under my name uh minku butter and you had a wonderful contribution on the word zafti <laughs> and zafti means you allow the world to walk all over you and you can be a carpet you allow yourself to be a carpet and i loved your message and thank you that was very well received by all my listeners and i have to tell you that you are going to be on national radio in india because they have chosen to have my podcast as part of a program early morning <laughs> so all my 10 episodes well five and then another five so you're going to be on uh, indian national radio so congratulations oh, wow. <laughs> thank you i didn't know that would happen but okay why well, only knew yesterday yeah <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow this is amazing so thank you for that <laughs> for giving me that space and share to the world yes. and i just want You're to welcome. actually ask you what are you actually working on at the moment right right so i have actually uh taken up a role of uh there's a very new um 
entity and an institution called Viki, which is the Women Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. It's first of its kind for women, and I am the state president uh, for my state for lifestyle and fitness. So we are like 17 council members with me, and we came together and said, uh, what can we do? What is the need in the community and society? And we realized, Bake, it's the youth. The youth is our, they are our future. Uh, they are our pillars, they are the visionaries, but it's so sad that they are hurting because they are choked for communication uh, and of course the stigma. So um, unfortunately, Bake, I just got to know that India is right now the highest in the world for suicides. Uh, yeah. I uh, just heard that and and this is sad. So we said, uh, how can we help these? We are focusing on the, what we call the older adolescents, 18 to 25 undergrads. And we are trying to create a platform where it's an online platform. We call it uh, the Dialogues Cafe. So it's a place where they can come in every fortnight. Uh, they can connect with their peers. They can have meaningful conversation, talk about humanity and universalism and uh, their pain points, their success stories. And we will have people from all over the world to come and give them motivational talks. And uh, I just want the safe, non-judgmental, Maybe if they want to stay anonymous, they can, but just be. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is we try to become. Yes. No, but if you're just being, I think this is what the youth needs. So we're going to kickstart with that in October and we have a lovely launch coming up. So that is my project under Viki. Uh, and I, I'm really looking Aren't forward to it because that? I think we can... So it's W-I-C-C-I, and you can look it up as W-I-C-C-I dot in. In fact, you know, it would be fabulous for sisters. We call ourselves sisters in sisterhood. And uh, if more sisters, and I know that you have a chapter, Barke, in the UK, and more people can join because we are already in uh, 39 countries. Wow. Wiki is in 39 countries and you can choose to be a leader, a visionary, and you can lead your own projects. Uh, and that's what I've decided to do is to work with youth. So I actually welcome uh, because it's an honorary position. Uh, there is nothing to be gained except um, gratification for having contributed to the universe. Oh, wow. beautiful. That's amazing. And what you're doing is actually needed. And oh my goodness, it's so sad to hear that, um, you know, the suicide mm -hmm. rate is up in India because yeah. I'm, I get so upset and to hear people mm -hmm. having suicide. I really, I get really like um, sad because end of the day, we're all going to die and suicide is just rushing you know the end yeah and thing yeah. so yeah. it's just yeah. please uh there's other ways we can do rather than just uh you know see that as a like end results and it shouldn't be like that absolutely so i am so yes. happy I, yes um barke i always say and when i have a conversation because i have some young ambassadors who are students so that's a subgroup and i always say you know sometimes you can quit for the day not mm. for the life. Yes. And when you quit today, you come back stronger tomorrow. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I call it. Take um, a break. I call it uh, parking on your on the hard shoulder, and um, you know uh -huh. because we are always on um, race, we are always rushing, and we're always on a highway or motorway. And when it's too much, just park on the hard shoulder and take a breath. Just relax get yourself ready for the next round. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, um, and that's what you're doing. It's what's needed. And I yes. can you, yeah. It's like, can you make friends with your misery? 
<laughs> it's, it's powerful. Can you? And sometimes when I say that to the youngsters and they look at me like, uh, what? And I said, can you make friends with your misery? And then it gets them thinking, Bake. Yeah, okay. I, I see where you're going with this. And then I say, you have it. You got this. You got this, you know? So mm -hmm. I think it's the way we communicate and it's the way we inspire and uplift the youth. Uh, uh, and that's that's the attempt, yeah. Yeah, the youth are our future uh, presidents and yeah. our future leaders. We have mm -hmm. to look after them. This is why it's so important what we have to fight or we have to, and I'm not talking about fist fighting or violence. I'm talking about in making a difference in people's lives and say yes to the youth teaching them the right way, guidance for them to, to actually say, you can make your dreams come true. You can actually do great things in this life and not just be seen as a bad, bad thing or bad person in the mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. This is needs to change. So I'm so glad, Minko. What you're doing? Oh my goodness, 100%. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the validation. I think it's time that we made human connections. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the most important uh, thing right now is how to make human connections more than anything else and uh, restore our dignity um and and really to just to restore humanity because if our actions can be heart centered and not head centered i mm. think maybe there are solutions to all the angst and the toxicness that is happening uh, it's also a beautiful time because a lot of purging is happening. A lot of things that were hidden in the universe, you know, like um, politically and scandals, um, sacrifices are being made because issues are being exposed. Uh, but I think maybe in the end, uh, I would say um, a collective consciousness towards nurturing a common humanity. Sure. I, I think that's the need. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's really, truly needed. Um, Minko, how do we get in touch with you? Oh, okay. So, um, you know, um, I'm very happy to hear from people. Uh, I'm there on LinkedIn. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. I, I go in there two, three times to check you know, and contribute to communications with, uh, you know, everyone. Um, I'm like a sponge. I love to hear stories. I would love to know who you are, what you do, what's your story. And, you know, you remember our conversation first time was who's Barke? <laughs> and how did you arrive at the present Barke? Uh, and also, I would say my LinkedIn is a great way to get in touch with me. And uh, you could also reach me on my Facebook. But I think, uh, yeah, um, YouTube, you could even leave me a message there. Uh, email ID is info.thecircleofjoy at gmail.com. I mean, that is what my platform is called, The Circle of Joy. Dot com. So um, if you look me up, I think LinkedIn probably is the best way. Um, and I do get spelled with a single N and a double N. And I need to get that standardized because, um, um, you know, this is what I need to do. But I am single N on LinkedIn and that's still me. So this is a, a loving message to all listeners out there Balke, that you bring this message that i would love to connect with you let's exchange stories and if there's any way any way i can help you on your journey to drop your baggages to find joy again i am there to help you thank, thank you, you Balke. so much thank you so much and that is Minku Buta. so just look for her in linkedin uh facebook but also send her email as a really to get in touch with her. And um, Minko, I would like to hear if you've got a message to even one person out there who really needs to hear it. Um, what would that message be to the world? 
I think, uh, Barke, right now, what sometimes stands between us embracing joy and not is tackling your ego sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to just drop your ego. And by ego, I don't mean the positive, uh, the one that makes you do things and, you know, that describes it and defines you, uh, which is your identity. I mean, just, you know, just drop your toxicness and resistance that we are carrying with us, thinking sometimes that we know it all, uh, we are okay, you know, but if we can really uh, do an inventory of your values in life again, yeah. I think that's very important. What's your vision? Reevaluate your purpose in life uh, so that you start connecting with the right people and your life becomes non-toxic because joy is where you need to be your vibration, it's your birthright. And I think that brings you back to your natural vibration. Wow, that is, that is amazing uh, message to the world and that is needed. So thank you so much, thank Minku. You. I do appreciate you so much. And uh, is there anything thank else you would like to share before we close for today? Bake, I'm just so honored. I'm so grateful. I'm. I'm always in gratitude uh, when, you know, I always say that you take one step and the universe takes 99 towards you. And literally, Vake, the synergy today and this conversation is really, really the need. Uh, it's gratifying my soul. And thank you for being a part of that. So I'm in deep gratitude and much, much love to everyone out there in the universe. Thank you so much, Minku. And for everybody else, uh, this is Minku Buta, and she is one of our leaders, one of our leading ladies that is today doing amazing thing in this world. So get in touch with her today and making sure that you can make a difference in your own life. I wish you all the best until the next guest. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Baki. See you soon. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.